So what do you think about that? Mate, I, I told you we're not talking about that. No, I'm done. No, come on, just, just give me a... No, dude. Dude, come on. Hey, I'm David Addison and welcome to the David Addison Show for the iPhonography Network, the iPhonography Podcast. Still in the air what it's going to be. I think at the moment the channel is called the iPhonography Podcast Network. Not up to me, it's up to Mr. McMillan, Macro McMillan as I call him. It's his thing, he can name it whatever he wants. I'm just here just to just to shoot the breeze with some cool interesting people to share my ideas and get your feedback on them and explore and and learn i want to learn from you guys as i said at the start of my last show speaking of my last show it went very very well my guest natalie chufo if you haven't seen it then i recommend you go and check it out if you want to I don't know, just get a different take from from a different kind of person who we don't often hear from in this mobile photography or just the photography space in general because she's she's not like a technical photographer. She doesn't know the names of things. She doesn't know f-stops and isos and shutter speeds and editing tools and stuff. She just she has a creative eye and she shoots what she likes the look of and then she will edit based on what she likes the look of. She doesn't know the names of the tools that she's using necessarily, but she uses them in such an effective way. And it's just, yeah, it was a really good, it was a really great show. Thank you to Nat for joining me. And I want to go through uh, my favorite comment that I got on the last show. So it's from Andy and I've not included your last name, Andy, because I don't know how to pronounce it. What an absolute treat watching this video and listening to Natalie. I'm going, I'm going to go out and get one of those Bluetooth clicker things. She's awesome. Double exclamation marks all around. What beautiful work she has done. Already following her on Insta. Of course, love listening to you also, David. (laughs) More of these kind of shows would be great. Cheers to both of you. So thank you. That's great, Andy, seriously. And I'm, I'm really pleased with how the show turned out and, um, as you can see, maybe uh, maybe you can see, maybe you're listening on YouTube, or I'm listening on wherever you're listening to, I don't know, or, but if you're watching on YouTube, you can see that I've changed my setup. So I've got this, uh, this Q9 microphone and I hope I'm using it correctly. If this show doesn't sound so good, then it's, I'm, I'm not using it correctly. If it sounds better, then I'm using it correctly because this is the thing about gear, right? whether it's a camera or a lens or a microphone or something, when you upgrade from from one thing to another, even though that thing is better, if you're not familiar with it, chances are your results are going to be worse when you upgrade. When I went from a 5D, the original 5D Mark I, to a 6D, obviously it's a massive leap forward. My shots were, I thought, anyway, they were worse than what I was getting with the 5D until I until I learned and things like that. So hopefully uh, I've set this up <laughs> semi-correctly. There is a pop filter if I bring it in here, but it looks a bit too much at the moment. I haven't figured out a way, I only got this yesterday and I haven't figured out a way to have it in the shot without it just dominating the whole shot. And it, the, the Sony a7 III, it likes to focus on the pop filter instead of me I'll I'll go in and change the focus settings and have it so it just like focuses like here in this area of the frame as opposed to down here I have it on zonal focusing because if I move over here it's going to keep me in focus but if I have it on a point like here then it loses me when I move so Bear with me if you don't like the sound so much. But today, it's not just me waffling on about microphones and things. It's <laughs> I have a guest. Now, this guy, he has already been a guest on the iPhoneography podcast. And I did know that, but it slipped my mind when I asked him to come on. And it is, of course, Mr. Shane Moston. Shano, as I call him. And last time I went back and listened to when he spoke with Greg, he spoke about iPhone things and things like that. Obviously, it's called the iPhoneography Podcast. And for the second show in a row, I'm not going to talk about iPhone photography on the iPhoneography Podcast. But I think it's still going to be a good show. And the reason I'm not going to talk about iPhone stuff or phone stuff with Shane is because 
whenever you see either him or myself, we're always talking about phone stuff. You go on one of Shane's live streams, you go on any of his YouTube videos, any of mine, we're always talking about mobile phone stuff. So today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about football. No, I'm I'm just joking. We're talking about YouTube. We're both YouTubers. Shane's been popping off, especially over the last couple of weeks with the iPhone 13 Pro. Me, not so much. I've been talking about these things and no offense. You're great. You really are great. I just stroked the light if you weren't watching. Uh, so I've lost my train of thought completely, but that's fine. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Shane's been Shane's been really just just popping off recently. I'm going to ask him about that, how he feels about his uh, his success, and the questions like how he why he thinks that his content has popped off. Whereas oh, I might need the pop filter for this. I keep saying pop. And that's what the pop filter is for. So let's see if I'm clipping my peas. If my peas are popping, then I might bring in the pop filter. Anyway, get Dave, get on with it. I will. I've lost my train of thought again. This is what happens when I don't script myself. I just, I go off on tangents. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to ask him why he thinks his content is popping off and other people, you know, they, they struggle to get to 10, 100, 1,000 subscribers. They struggle for years and he's just gone, whoom, especially recently when he started to do his astro photography stuff and things like that. And uh, yeah, I won't spoil my whole conversation. I haven't had it yet. I'm about to get Shane on. It's, I need to send him an invite for this call. So I will do that now. And next time you see me, I will have Mr. Moston. Hello again. Hello. You know what? I'm just going to start from here. <laughs> Screw it. Because I don't know. My thing with this podcast is that I don't take myself. This is like more of the real David who doesn't take himself real. too seriously, who likes to, who likes to fuck around. And that <laughs> is a precursor. <laughs> Editor Dave, I'm sorry. Get the sensor sound effect out, dude, because... <laughs> There's some bleeps coming. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie dropped two or three f bombs on her on, on the last show, and I was being I was purposefully not swearing to make her look like a potty mouth and me look like the innocent boy. But... <laughs> I, I, I don't swear. I'm, I'm I'm offended by that sort of language. No, you're not. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I see the eyebrow raising up. So, dude, yeah, thank you, thank you for joining me. And I, no, as I was worries. saying. Uh, I, I've already introduced you, but I might introduce you again, but I might not. The, the viewers are going to be on the edges of their seats. Who is this guy? Ooh, I don't who even is know. This guy? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I need to record a podcast. Mm, you, you will do. The next guy who I see, I'm going to invite on. <laughs> we, we, we have every time that I talk to you, it's always a bloody crack up. It's it's always always having a bit of fun, and I think if only the time zones were a bit more similar, because I'd sit here having a beer, mm. and by the time you get to the end of the the, the show, you'd just be like faced and silly, and be the show would be gone for like seven hours. <laughs> You're like <"Don't>, <laughs> freaking. <laughs> That would be good. Um, if you folks want me to break my sobriety, I don't. I don't drink, but I will for the money for <laughs> oh, the content because I'm a I'm a massive shill, guys. You know, if you send me something, I will review it on the channel, whether it's going to get fifty <laughs> views or fifty thousand, guys. I'm just a massive corporate shill, so just yeah. If, if you want to pay me, I will drink. It's shame. <laughs> so this is not about. I this is meant to be about iPhones and stuff. Uh, today we are going to be talking about YouTube because, like, you talk about iPhones and phones all the live long day. Whenever there's a camera in front of you, dude, you're you're on about iPhones yep. and stuff. I'm the same. If if you want to hear Shane talking about iPhones, switch off now. Go and watch his channel. Go and watch my channel, preferably mine. Um, today I'm talking about YouTube. <laughs> Because, dude, like, you're, you're popping off, dude. Like, seriously, like, congratulations on these, this last, it feels like it's been a week. I don't know what the time frame is, how long you've been uploading these iPhone 13 videos. Um, it was, it's a week. Um, yeah. So the, the 13 got released here in Australia on Friday last week. Today's Sunday. Um, 
and I went to um, I pre-ordered it if you like through one of the retailers here. There, it's about nearly a two hour drive from where I am because I'm quite remote. <clears throat> and so I, I called them up and I said, have you got one of these coming? They said, we don't know until it's here. So I said, well, how do I secure one? They said, you kind of don't. And I said, well, I kind of want to. And this is what I do. And they said, I will order one online, use this code when you come in, it'll be here. So I did that, drove two hours, picked it up, come back and just smashed out content. And the, yeah, it's- I know you did. Yeah. And you sat there going, where's my iPhone? (laughs) Don't even start, dude. I don't know. I like like to think we're a a little bit ahead of Australia, just in in terms of everything. Uh, Just in terms of everything? (laughs) (laughs) I'm just teasing you. Um, So when I, plus, you know, it's me, right? So I, I expect special treatment. So when I walk into my Apple store, I expect to be handed an iPhone. You know, I expect them to be like, "Ah, oh, Mr. Addison, hello, welcome." Mm-hmm. Here's the. Don't they put here's music the on when 14, you walk in? You know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I want theme music. I want uh, the right. same music that's on screen when that plays when King Kong is on screen. Um, yeah, when I walked in, it's JB Hi-Fi is where I got mine from. Is when I walked in, mate, the music changed. There was like fog across the ground, lighting, dramatic dun, lighting. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. And I said, "I'm here to pick up an iPhone." They went, "Have you pre-ordered it?" <laughs> So, oh, dude, yeah. I didn't really I, know. Yeah, I, they, they told me that I, I couldn't buy one because of like stock issues. Like it, this this release has been really popular. So unfortunately, we don't. I'm like, really? You've been selling these since 2007 and you've yeah. not got your it's stock because, sorted out by now? I think it's because Apple's new to the game. They don't quite understand what sort of movement they're going to have through stock. It's, like, it's only 13 generations of the phone. So maybe 14, they might Give get a chance it. to find the feet i know yeah uh, you're being a bit harsh on them, uh, <laughs> ah screw them they don't they don't need my my uh my praise or approval uh so i'm just gonna go up go through your uh your, your social blade here because like these iphone Ooh. videos have been as i said just been been killing it so you've got two thousand does your audience know what social blade is uh I don't know, but it's, um, if you don't know what Social Blade is, folks, it is a, like a third party website that's not official YouTube and it tracks everyone's statistics and things like that. So you can see not just your own, but everyone's, so I can just type in Shane Moston mobile photography and I get how many uploads, how many subscribers, and it kind of gives a guesstimate. It's not completely accurate, but it shows you hmm. like estimated earnings, uh, estimate, uh, total weekly views and things like that. And I'm just looking at yep. your views, dude, over the past, like if you go back a few weeks, you're getting like, uh, like 32,000, 38,000, 33,000. And then last week you got 138,000. Yeah. Like, that's, that's crazy. And you, you gained 2,900 subscribers. In the last week. week? And you, Yep, and you usually oh, right. get about 400 yeah. a week, 500. Um, yeah, it's usually yeah, it's usually about 500 a week. It's cuz when I I I I only think that because when we do um the live streams, I kind of have that in my head like oh this week we're you know 34,000 and and next fortnight I'm 35,000, so it's roughly 500 a week. Just let me do my math on that. 500 yeah. a week. <laughs> yeah, you're like nearly up to forty thousand, and um, like you got thirty eight. Thirty eight. Yep. 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 Yeah. So that's at cool. the rate you're going this time next week, you'll have yeah, you'll have over forty thousand. So, are you pleased with your yeah. iPhone thirteen video? Did you expect this much? Or yes, yep. I, I expected it yeah. to do well. I didn't really have a number in mind. I, I kind of. Um, it's the it's the trending things. Um, so as as the hype was building around the iPhone 13, um, I knew that I know that my videos get recommended a lot in the bigger YouTubers at the end of the bigger YouTuber stuff. It's so I kind of play to that with that sort of trending topic. So when everyone's put all the bigger YouTubers are putting out the iPhone 13 videos, I knew that when it came to that time when there's this bloke from Australia who's just doing this like, or just nighttime photography with his with his phone and getting these sorts of results, <clears throat> I knew that it would be recommended. And it's 
that one with the truck has gone has gone crazy. That that video with the truck, I'll just I'll just see because um, I'm not sure offhand. That's now nearly sixty thousand views in a week. So that's forty uh, yeah. fifty eight thousand views. Yeah, yeah, so that's going wow. That's going well. Yeah. Why do you think? I mean, all your videos with the iPhone 13 have got thousands of views, but that one's like another yep. level. Why do you think that one? Is it because it was your, one of your first ones that you did, or is it the thumbnail? It wasn't. The title? It, no, it, it was the it was the second one. I'm just looking at my analytics while I'm talking to you. It was the second one that I did, yeah. um, but it's kind of what I'm known for. And if you go and look for someone else who's doing astrophotography with the iPhone 13, you're probably not going to find someone. And if it is, uh, there was a couple around that were just shit. They went from a phone, um, just people chasing subscribers, I think, chasing that trend. But, um, yeah, pe- people people like it. People interact with it. The retention on that's really good. Um, and the, um, the, the interaction on that is pretty good. What's that? Uh, 327 comments on that video. So that's probably... Why? Wow. 98.2% likes versus what would that be? 1.8% dislikes. So what can I say? That's It's a good video. Oh, yeah. It's uh, hmm. it's like why I have, I, have, I, have, I have lots of questions and comments. And the one I will go with is why do you – no, I'll tell you what I think first. You, <laughs> you listen to me now, Shane. <laughs> I think because That's like, why I'm here. You're, out, you're, <laughs> you're out in the field, like actually actually doing it, and you're just straight in. I watched that video before we started, and you're just like, yep. there's no intro, there's no, all right, guys, it's Shane Austin here, and here's my dog, and you know, you're not like, it's just like no. value from the first second. Um, yep. Yep, that's, that's kind of the way I've gone. I'm going now. Like when I first started the channel, I, I spent a bit of, I spent a lot of time and then a bit of money with making flashy intros and stuff. And um, I, for the for the last, I don't know how many, but for the last say twenty videos, I haven't even done an intro. I've just gone boom. This is what you're getting, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's. I do a lot of. <clears throat> I used to sit here in front of the camera a lot and just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and do um, very little. Even that, when it was out in the field, I'd be out in the in the bush taking a, like showing you how to take a, a an astro photo of something, and, um, and and I'd sit here and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. But people don't want to know necessarily all the ins and outs of that. I'm just remind, remembering that you're recording this, so I can't say what I was about to say. <laughs> to record a lot of stuff and a lot of information, people don't want to be <laughs> overloaded with information. So now I just kind of go, there's your info, this is how you do it, how good is that, find it here, and that's it working. Yeah. Yeah, no, clearly working. Like, So you mentioned like when I asked you about did you expect the success a bit with the iPhone? You said yes because of like things that are trending. Is that your general content strategy? Even when there's no iPhones around, you look at what's trending. Um, to an extent, I look at all the. Well, they call them tent pole tent pole events, but for most channels, they're going to be like the big the big events through the year, like Christmas and New Year's and. Halloween and stuff for the folks in America, but for for me that those tent poles are product releases of things that are going to complement the channel. So tent pole event would be the iPhone 13 this month. Another tent pole event will be the Pixel 6. So as soon as that sucker's out, I'll be going on a two hour drive again and getting another phone <laughs> to do the same sort of stuff because it just works um, uh, with the the content that has has. To go back to your question, the, the tent pole stuff, um, I always try and track that. If it's something that I can certainly afford to do, because all I, I pay for all these things myself, um, well, the channel pays for it. Um, but then around that, with things like moon photography and stuff, I know that they're always going to do well, and they're always going. To, and I, I, I don't even need to look outside or look at an app to know when the full moon's coming, because my analytics just go all the full moon videos <laughs> up. They go. Because it, it just just works. So you, uh, you watch. There'll be a, an iPhone 13 moon video soon, and it will go off. 
And mm -hmm. it's it's not even a good phone for taking photos of the moon, but so many people have it, so many people want to do it, and so many people will be disappointed when they take, can't take a photo of the moon with the iPhone 13. But the videos yeah. will always get good reach because it's that that's just that's just the way it is. Um, people want to take photos of the moon, so I expect those sorts of videos to do well when when <clears throat> when there's no events. So no new phones coming out that I want to review. Um, then I start looking more at the techniques and getting a little bit better in um, – because that's when the core audience, like the the bloody legends, are just watching those videos. They're not, it's not necessarily aimed at new people. It's aimed at the, the regular viewers. Um, and I'll go out there and do something a little bit more in depth, like that photo that I just showed you before. Um, for those playing at home, <laughs> that photo. Um, nice. So that there is not a, a just a, a walk in the park sort of technique. There's a little bit more involved in that. And I know that the average Joe won't necessarily watch all the way through with that video because it's a little bit more in depth with the lighting um, and the steps that I've taken to get to the lighting at the end photo. Um, but the, the regular viewers will appreciate that sort of video because it's a little bit more in depth. No, definitely. Um, I I like to really focus on my niche. I don't really want to make like people keep telling me, "Ah, oh, this 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 video got a million views. You should make one like that." I'm like, I don't mm. want to. I like to give my core audience what they want, and it is the more in depth yep. stuff, like the the yeah. the halide and the moment stuff that yep. the average person. Yep. I might make a a video for the average person, but I don't want them on my channel, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. I don't want to attract <laughs> them. I want to keep them away. Yeah. No offense to them, because I, I don't get any do you get any hate comments or like or trolls um, or anything? I don't get any of that stuff because I very appeal rarely. to a, an intelligent an intelligent audience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. I, I get um I think in the community that I have where you're part of it, it's you, you go into that like that Facebook group, and it's there's there's no there's no hate there's no there's no you know regular sort of photography ego. bullshit that you see in so many other places ego absolutely um, and I get occasionally um, like even with the brands like people go I just took this out of an iPhone and you know that there's a guy over here who's a hardcore Android guy and he'll go that's a good photo um, mm -hmm. and that that's that's kind of cool where. I do occasionally when I do when you when you push out a video and it's got like fifty eight thousand views in a week, you know that's not my core audience watching that. That's everyone who just bought an iPhone is watching that now. And you go through that, yeah. and there's going to be comments in there that are, um, <clears throat> you know, oh, Pixel does this better than this. This is ridiculous. Can't believe you do it with an iPhone. Well, that's okay. Well, if you don't, I always, always laughs at it. I always laugh at it. Going like the thumbnail says it's an iPhone. The title mm -hmm. says it's an iPhone. You're a Pixel lover. That's fine. Yeah. Why did you watch it? Like, did you yeah. just come here to breed your hate? Just f off, buddy. Exactly. Um, yeah. I don't know. Some people maybe they are. They've they've just bought the Pixel and. They want it to be the best phone. So when they see another phone that they've not got doing good stuff, they feel a bit insecure about that. Yeah. I don't know. I like doing yeah. the I like going into the psychology. I'm fascinated by, by psychology yeah. and why people comment things and, and do what they do. But mm. uh, something else I've noticed recently is you've, you've adopted a new style of thumbnail. You've adopted the, the that style. Uh, that was obviously, you've done it like, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> You've done it like. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Let me try and. You're, you're doing it like. Uh, wait. It's harder <gasps> to do with the screen crop the way it's, it is. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, oh, I've got yeah, the so that was obviously. I've got my sunglasses on. <laughs> yeah, I don't it, it was a conscious decision. Yeah. Uh, and, and the reason. And, and I've only done it for a few, and it's only been the iPhone 13 videos. Um, I think, pretty sure. Yep. Yeah, it is. Yep, only the iPhone 13 videos, uh, and I've done it. I've done it before when I've done comparison videos, and it's not. It's it's for two reasons. One, um, 
a lot of the YouTube educators say with your thumbnails, you should try and put a face on there. Well, it's not a good face to put on a thumbnail. And the second oh, thing nice. is I'm really – I was. <laughs> <laughs> and the second thing is that I'm really trying to emphasize the phone. Like people don't know who I am, um, but I'll, but they know what that phone looks like. So uh, the idea with those thumbnails is to put that – that phone, oh, it's got the cover on there, so it's not quite the impact that I was looking for. I'll put that phone like this, and I can put the the text of what that video is called on that on the back of that phone, and it's easily identifiable to anyone who knows what that phone is. So um, I'll put the title of it there. So what, what have we got there? Um, the cinematic mode for iPhone. It was like written on the back of the phone, and you can see my ugly mug in the background, as blurred as it is. It just works. So. Um, it's, it's certainly that, what's his name? Super Saf? Super Saf? Well, he does, I watch his stuff and, and Mr. Who's the Boss, they, they do some pretty good, um, obviously very, very good videos and they're, they're very successful on the, on the, on the platform. Um, and I think you've got to be yourself, but also, you know, you've got to look at what's working. And when I look at, you, well, here's an example of what does and what doesn't work that, um, so the macro video had, to shy of 18,000 views uh, so far. That's a week old, and that's one with my head and the phone. Um, the other two videos with my head and the phones, they've got 4,000, 5,000 views each, so they're not exactly teeing off. But the photo with the truck as the thumbnail, that's the one with that's, that is going off. So I find that with... Yeah. Um, I, I kind of swap between the two. Um, the only thing that's really constant with my thumbnails uh, is the colour. I just maintain that that teal blue sort of colour. I try and make that on every single thumbnail that I do, so that that colour is there. So I'm hoping that the colour is associated that like the the audience, my regular audience, associates the colour with my content, and that's mm. pretty well it. Yeah. No, yeah, definitely that 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 association of uh, especially with more casual viewers who might not be subscribed. Mm. You know, they are uh, they get to associate your face or the color with, with things like that. So, uh, yeah, cool. No, I, mm. I'm interested to see where you where you take your thumbnails next af after the iPhone. Well, you probably do the same thing with the Pixel, right? And then, uh, yep, in January yep. when it pro when you probably go down to just core audience, see what happens there. Well, I think January is when the S22 will probably come out. I think it was January oh, when right. <laughs> when the 21 came out. So I've got to I've got to sell some of these bloody phones. I've got so many phones now. <laughs> oh no, dude! It's uh, hopefully I get to that point one day where I, I I branch out of iPhone stuff and get back into the Samsung stuff. Yeah, but yeah, what are you going to do with all the mm. all those phones? I sell them. I put them onto yeah. eBay and stuff and sell them. Yeah, it's sell them to friends. Yeah, um, it's not like like the, the the Huawei. I'll probably just keep forever because it's just an amazing camera. Um, and the and the, the everything that you can do. There's nothing that I have found yet with the Huawei that it every single genre of photography that you could possibly think of. It just does it. it it's it's an amazing camera. If it's even if I didn't ever use it for another video on the channel. I would just put it in my motorbike and take it on my trips as my camera because it's, it's small and it takes a bloody good photo. Um, like if, if the Samsung, I think I had it in my pocket for like two months as my phone. Um, the Pixel would have been weeks in my in my pocket. So it's, they're, they're pretty much brand new phones. Um, so it's, they get out there and get um, content for their channel and then they sit on the charger or sit on the shelf. It's... I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. too many bloody phones sitting up there. <laughs> and it's just money sitting there that I think, well, a lot of my the money that I get from um, the channel at AdSense and all the other ways that I make money on the channel, it generally goes to buying phones for content for the channel. And after that content yeah. has, has expired and hit its, hit its time, well, we've got to move them on. Do you ever think it's worth keeping some of that older stuff around for that comparison in the future? Um, probably not. Um, the the reason I say probably... Videos. Sorry, go on. 
I think um, when it comes to keeping them, I, you just got to look at it from a business point of view. Um, at some point, you've the dollars matter. Um, obviously, we we do this a little bit for love, but the rest of it's for dollars. And um, I look at it and go, well, th- there's money sitting on the shelf there. I can go and sell that, that, and that, and go and buy that, that, and that for more content. Um, like how many people really in say 2014 are going to watch an iPhone 12 versus an iPhone 14 video? Virtually no one. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just not going to happen. So why keep it? Um, I will probably do another video with the 12, just some comparison stuff again, but that would be it. It'll, it'll move on then. I'll, I'll offload it and sell it. I've got um, the S21 will go. I've got to finish shooting the, the comparison video for that. Then it'll, it'll most likely go. Um, because the 22 will come out soon enough and I'll go and get that and make the more content just so that it keeps growing and growing and growing. I've, I've, I was talking, when I was talking to Ralph Mayhew yesterday, um, shameless plug, Ralph Mayhew, photography, go and have a look. Um, he, Do it, man. Well, I was talking to him about um, um, I just totally lost my train of thought then about moving on uh, this this gear He's, he's saying to me, uh, he does the same thing. He goes and buys all these cameras and then goes, oh, I'm going to keep it here for a comparison video later on down the track, and you never end up doing it. Um, mm-hmm. So as I said, one too, too many bloody phones sitting up there on the shelf um, from phones that I've used all the time and phones that I've bought just for the channel. It just To me, it doesn't make sense to keep on to them. You know, other people want them, and someone will get – I've, I've, I've bought it as a tool – made the the the, the, um, the content that I wanted to make and then someone else will take take the phone and make good use of it. It's just sitting on a shelf for me at the moment. Yeah, fair enough. No, um, with with some mm. things, I'll, I'll keep it around. Like, but with, with phones, I'll probably do the same thing, to be honest. But, um, yep. I, I want to ask you, uh, how, how, how much time do you spend like, working on your channel as opposed to in? your channel and I can clarify if if you need me to you mean making videos versus running the business yeah like so on would be like working on your on your branding content strategy thumbnail strategy stuff like that whereas in as obviously editing and shooting yep yep the the editing and shooting probably take up the least amount of time um it's for me. It's more the research and testing stuff. Um, the the branding, branding is. I'm lucky enough that the branding is just me. Um, what you what I am is what the channel is. It's it's one of the the best lessons I think I learned early on is just be me. Um, and you look at some of the merchandising that I've got. It's it's just me. Um, I've got T-shirts with ducks nuts written on it because I say ducks nuts. And people buy it. It's because they're they're, that, they're the bloody legends, you know. They're, they're part of that community. Yeah. Even the community, the naming of the community is is I didn't even come up with that. Somebody said it, just purely observing my mannerisms and stuff and what I say. And they say, "Don't you mean bloody legends?" When I because I used to say, um, oh, "What." It's been a while since I've said it. I do two videos each and every week, all about small sense of photography, yada, 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 yada. And if you're into that sort of thing, subscribe to the channel. And if you have already, you're a legend. I used to say that. And then someone, and because I would say bloody a lot in my videos, someone would say, don't you mean bloody legends? And that was born. So yeah. the, the branding around the channel is just me. It's, it's, I don't work on it that hard. It's, I think that um, most of my community out there is, um, not from Australia. So I think they get a kick out of this bloke from Australia just talking like an Australian out in the bush. Um, so the branding really just takes care of itself. The, I, I spend a lot of time, more so recently, a lot of time liaising with companies for them contacting me saying, hey, could we'd like to send you something to review. So I spend a, far too much time. I wish they would just say, hey, this is what I've got to for you to, to review and this is – the sort of thing that would fit your channel. Uh, but I spent a lot of time going and looking at product that people say, hey, can you review this? And then going and looking at other reviews and looking at the product and, and going, does it fit or doesn't it fit, as in fit the channel? Um, there's no point bringing something onto the channel if 
the people in the community aren't going to benefit from it, there's, there's just no point. Um, that that hurts the brand, yeah, I think. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but the the main thing that takes up my time is probably researching, uh, researching the content that I make. Um, so I use TubeBuddy to go and look at um, keywords. So if I want to do, uh, at the moment, iPhone 13 is trending, so I don't care what you do with iPhone 13. You could say how to photograph a goat with iPhone 13. It's going to get views. Um, <laughs> so it, it just will. You do know you're going to have to make that video now, don't you? <laughs> I'm doing it. As soon as I walk out of here, I'm going to go find one of our goats because we've got goats, um, and uh, I'm going to make a video of how to shoot an iPhone, please, how to shoot a goat please. with iPhone 13. Yeah. I probably it, won't um, title it How to January. Shoot a Goat because that won't get good reach. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, the keyword yeah, so, uh, research is, is uh, what, what, what takes up a lot of time, then working out how that keywords uh, will work in a video. Um, the, the thumbnails, I start, I've only just really started putting more effort into thumbnails, um, mainly because what I do – um, if I go, if the title says, you know, um, um, uh, S- S21 Ultra, uh, how to do this and have the photo of this, that generally works because it's such a visual thing what I do on my channel. It's it's not, um, you know, um, some trending celebrity topic. It's, it's I've got this phone in my pocket and this guy just took this photo with it. That's amazing. How the hell did he do that? So that's the sort of how I how I used to do my thumbnails. It's only when I'm trying to reach new people that I don't do that. It's that's when you get that super saf look. <laughs> I um when you these all these uh, YouTube gurus that are that are around. There's a few of them. <clears throat> you could follow their steps to the letter, yep. and you would not blow up. You couldn't. You won't get past yep. 10 subscribers. Um, but you've got almost like 40,000 now. Uh, why do you think you <clears throat> popped off or some other people? They, they, they can have channels um, for years and make great content and they get like yep. dirty views. Yep. I, I put it down to a few things. I put it down to um, being me, um, as in I'm not trying to be Peter McKinnon. I'm not trying to be... Super Saf, even though my thumbnail suggests I am. Um, I'm not trying to be Mr. Who's the Boss or anyone else teaching anything with phone stuff um, or tech reviewers and things like that. I'm just being me. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm lucky enough that where I live is incredibly clear sky, so I can get some amazing photos of the night sky with something that everyone carries in their pocket. Um, that's not to say that anyone else can't do that, Um that's just the niche that I've chosen. So, when I've started this um, this 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 journey, a, a lot of the YouTube educators said um, niche down, and 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 I went cool. I'll, I'll be a photography niche because I'm a photographer. And then I went, well, let's do mobile phone photography. Let's niche down a little bit harder to, to mobile phone photography. And and I got to that, and 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 I went, well, let's go even harder and go low light. Uh, mobile photography and and when you when you search through YouTube, I'm pretty much I'm not the only one doing it, but without saying like a dickhead, I'm pretty much owning that space of low light phone photography. Um, mm-hmm. And everyone who's got everyone out there has got a phone, um, and everyone knows what it's like when it's dark. So it just kind of works. Yeah, that that works. So you plan the community. Like you the community is huge. Absolutely. Absolutely, plan that niche. It's um, uh, I'm a very analytical sort of a person. Um, whenever I do anything, if I go and um, buy all the stuff that I've got on my desk right here right now, is stuff that people have sent me, so I can't say this is what I did. But if I, if I went and bought that DJI, come on, show me uh-huh. some love. That you know, if if I when I bought this, um. I researched and researched and researched and researched. So I, for the first, um, when I decided to make a channel, it was probably February. I didn't do a video until April. And all I was doing was researching and learning how to do stuff. And <clears throat> because I was I was into astrophotography anyway, I was doing that with DSLR. And then I was teaching photography as well. 
And because I'm in a small town, I think that anyone who had had any inclination to do that sort of photography workshop with me had done it. And I was kind of at the point where, well, what else do I do with teaching? And my wife said, teach people how to take photos with their phones. And I was like, that's the most ridiculous idea I've ever heard. No one does that. Turns out people do, and I'm making money <laughs> out of it, right? <laughs> so um, yeah. I, 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 I worked out, well, let's do that. And then I found that there's heaps of people ta- showing how to take photos of their phones. It's mainly the bigger YouTubers when these – when these when these tentpole events come out, like the iPhone releasing date, and all of a sudden Peter McKinnon, who's usually shooting with like a one DX, has all of a sudden got an iPhone in his hand, and thought, okay, that's cool. So I can't really compete with that. Not that you're competing; it's just um, you're not going to be on the same level, if you like. And then I went, well, what could I do that? Well, almost almost no one else can do, and. And I just kept on niching down and went, what if I can take photos of the stars with my phone? And turns out you can. And that's pretty much where it started from there. Nice. And are you – so you're obviously – because you planned it, you're obviously happy with with where you are. Oh, of course. <laughs> it's um, – uh, when, I, when I started this, it was, it was such an unknown to me. So I'm – 46 years old, I think. Once you hit 30, mate, after 30, you just kind of go, I don't care how old I am, I'm just older than 20. But <laughs> once, you hit, once you hit your 40s, it's kind of like, Do you think how I'm old am 30? I? I? I know you are. You, you, you bitch and moan <laughs> like an old man. <laughs> Dude. <sighs> or, or is that just wow. an Englishman thing? No, that's just me. I am <laughs> moan so much. <laughs> when I um stop, uh, dude, it, stop putting was... me off because I will go off. Why you get back to the trail of thought? What? <laughs> what are you saying? When I started I'm this, trying because to be, I'm trying to be professional because here, man. You, you've got the wrong guest on. God damn it! <laughs> so when, when I when I looked at doing this, I was looking at all these different people who were doing YouTube, and they're all like younger folks. Who who have got um, younger and trendy? Is that the right sort of word I'm looking for? That they they're just they're more pleasing to look at than what I am. <laughs> so it mm. needed to be the legit me and uh, do something that's going to bring value to people. And and I went well, okay. Well, let's give it a go. We'll give it a go. And if and I, like I said, my first video was in April last year, and and I set this goal of um, to to be monetized that partner program by Christmas. So that's what I wanted to do. Um, and in, and basically, I, I decided if it wasn't monetized by then, I wouldn't do it. it. It's just it's not the right sort of thing for me. Um, I ended up being monetized very early in November, and. From November to December, I got like seven thousand more subscribers from that one thousand. The growth was ridiculous, it, 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 and I couldn't believe it. Every day I'd I'd wake up and just go, "This is this is crazy! How 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 big this is going!" And it got to the point we we were going through um, <clears throat> how quickly it grew. We were going through this this phase phase. No, what would you call it? Like with the pandemic going on. You'd get these daily numbers, and and everyone, the, the press and the, and the and the government just were seemed to be obsessed with these numbers. Um, and every day you'd now go, oh, six hundred and you start talking about the. I know I didn't say the, the c word. You just calm down. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they they were they were constantly on the numbers, and 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 I'd come in after the, after a day's work, and, I, and I'd say to Sarah, my wife, I'd say seven hundred and twenty four, and she'd go, oh. Hmm. Is that cases or new subscribers? That day? No, no. She'd say, <laughs> "Is that cases or how many subscribers you got today?" So that it was, it was kind of like the numbers were so similar. Uh, it was a, it was a bit of a, a play on numbers, if you like. But the, the growth just happened really, really fast. And and I put that down to um, that one. Here's another super staff moment. That's the that's the twelve pro max because I went oh, and got yeah. that, and it just went. Poof, just blew through the roof, and then in January, um, the, if you watch, if you look at the growth on my channel, it goes 
new phone releases. And then it just kind of peters off. Then new phone releases, then peters off. The new phone releases. That's how the, the growth sort of happens. And 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 the the more of those I'm doing, the when, when I've got a, a bigger base behind me, like the bigger subscriber count behind me, those numbers, well, that, those events, more. It's like a snowballing effect. Um, and then more people come into that that community that we have, and um, it it just the growth has just been. So much more than what I thought it was going to be. So much more. No, it's interesting because um, the same thing happened to me, not on your scale, but you know what I think it is? It might be when you hit that thousand, YouTube has more of an incentive to put you on the recommended because they actually get something from your channel then with the, the ad revenue and stuff. Mm -hmm. and it, it says to them that this guy is a serious creator. He's going to be sticking around. He's been monetized. So yep. maybe there's that sort of thing yep. uh, going on. Um, mm. We know like from my from my point of, of, of view, what I like about your channel is that you, you're you out there actually taking the pictures. You're in the field where the people are going to be who are going to be watching <clears throat> your videos. And yeah. like my, I, although I do a lot of videos my chair just in went this down. room. Oh, yep, yep. Your chair went. Sorry. Yeah, my chair went. It's all, it's all back there. It's oh, okay. okay. There's a I little bit of a notice. delay, which makes this conversation confusing. <laughs> I'm not going to cut any of this. <laughs> I'm going to leave it all in. <laughs> I was going to start all swearing every second again. word, so you've got to do more editing. <laughs> <laughs> do not do that. Um, to, anyway, dude, I'm trying to be a professional host here. Stop oh, messing. Sorry. Stop killing my vibe, man. Seriously. <laughs> uh, what, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. You're actually out on the field doing it. When I see... There's so many like people behind a desk and I know I, I'm sat <coughs> behind a desk right now and I don't like it. And, you know, you're obviously very knowledgeable, you're likable and My you do the things that people actually want to see. So that's what I think anyway. For, for what I think like getting out and showing different places certainly works for me. Um, in saying it, most of the time it's dark, dark. So you don't get to see what's around. What, I, what I'm actually going to do today, I've... I went and shot that video last night, <clears throat> but I'm actually, after we finish here, I'm going to go back out there and shoot some video, some B-roll of it in the daytime so that people can see how it is all set up sort of thing, um, just so it's easy to understand. So I think getting out away from the desk is good. I like, from the content creator's point of view, I like having this set up, like what, what, what I'm looking at right now with like this behind me and pardon me, the lights and stuff, it's it's pretty much a permanent setup. Um, and I like to be able to go, here's this bit of kit that someone sent me. I'll just sit here, turn this on and talk about it. I like the the, the, the convenience of that. Um, yeah. But I, I I know that people, when they want to learn how to do something, I, I just kit this on and talk about it. Being out there on a loca at a location is just better. Yeah, we can talk about doing something all the time, but when you're actually physically doing it, well, it's a different thing. You would see that with your stuff when you go out and, and shoot on site and, and you, you've got plenty of videos like that out there talking to cows and stuff. Um, I'm sure that they'd be doing better than just sitting behind a desk, surely. Yeah, I was surprised how many views that, that cage video got because I'm going through my, my phase of just re reviewing anything while I'm waiting for the iPhone. <laughs> no offense, Light. No offense, Cage. I love you. I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> you, um, your iPhone videos are obviously just killing it. And then you go back to a video before that and your comic and mic video, I, I did the same video, has got like 300 views. And how do you, yep. you obviously, that, those, those mics, you obviously wanted them to use for yourself. And I, 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 I'm always nope. in this like, I know this video is not going to do well, but I want this product. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to no, use no, this I, I didn't. for myself. No, no. They, oh, really? they, um, yeah, they, they contacted me and, and said, um, we've got this product coming out. And um, I, I didn't – it's still sitting there on the bench. I, I, look, I'll, I'll, I might use them. Uh, I used them. I've used them for that video. Um, um, 
There's nothing wrong with them. They're, they're perfectly good mic, and I would highly recommend them. I think they work really well. And the thing that I liked about it when they first contacted me, a lot of the stuff that I do is it's solution selling, really. Um, but with with the photography that I do, it's a really cool way of of, of here's, here's a cool photo that I took, and this is how I did that. That's a solution to this. This is cool photo. This is the solution. This is how I took it. And when I first started my channel. The thing that I struggled with the most was audio. It, it just was. Uh, and the, everyone seemed to – the thing with tech reviewers is that not all of them, but certainly a lot of them, they will say, this is awesome because you know, such and such sent it to me and I didn't pay for it and it's awesome. Um, but if you put money down <laughs> to pay for it, would you still say it's awesome? Um, and when they said what this thing could do, this, this Comica mic, um, I was like – damn, I wish I had that when I started my channel because it's such a good solution for someone who is starting a YouTube channel. It really is. You can use it on your phone to plug it in and the bloody thing just works. I wish I knew it was there when I started my channel. So when they contacted me and I thought it was actually a little bit of a, the thing that was, the reason it's only got 300 views is because, for the same reason that I almost didn't do the video because it doesn't, quite fit the niche that I'm in. Um, mm -hmm. It's more to do with video. and But I still saw it as it's such a simple solution for the problem that I had when I started my channel. And I know that there are people on the channel who are also YouTube, in the community, who are also YouTubers. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the comments on that video, you know that some of them have gone out and bought that thing. Um, it's, it's not even an affiliate thing. I, like I, I made no money out of that video besides the AdSense of 364 views, so it's probably like 20 cents or something. Um, it's, yeah. it's, um, I've, got, I've got some good backup microphones there, but it was, it was much more about the solution to the problem that I had that I just know other people would have had. So um, mm -hmm. I've started doing those reviews each week as well, and that – filled one of those spots. So that's why I did it. Hmm. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, well, they, um, <clears throat> when, they, when they contacted me, I'm just like, yeah, I want to use these, these, these mics, same, same like you. It's not my niche. I know this video is not going to, you know, do do that well. It's like saying like these, these, these Ulanzi lights and stuff. <laughs> uh, yep. In fact, that, those lights did that. That light video did better than I thought. Uh, to be honest with you. Yep. But those. Uh, I think the Ulanzi um, do. Sorry, mate. No, no. You go on. There's a bit you, of a delay, you, isn't there? You, that, that's fine. Ulanzi does um, some. They they make some really good gear, and it's. I was I was using Ulanzi stuff well before, I I did. Before they started sending me gear, I, I, I was I've used Ulanzi phone holders and stuff ever since I started taking photos, long exposure stuff with phones. They, they just do, they do good gear. They make good solid gear, and it's pretty affordable gear. So when they send me stuff, and obviously they have their um, uh, 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 marketing strategy, and they say we want to promote X, Y, and Z. Um, and so when when they first sent me um, those those panel lights. Those ones, mm -hmm. um, they. I, I initially thought, is that going to fit the channel? And the video that I did, it kind of didn't. But the more that I'm using these things now, that video, that that photo that I just showed you with the tree with the galactic core above it, that was lit with that light that's sitting behind me right now. So there's absolutely a space for it in my niche. I've just got to work out how to get that to work. Not necessarily the way that 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 Ulanzi wants it to work, but the way that. I want it to work and my community wants it to work to make those sorts of photos. And when you look on um, the Facebook group that we have, there are so many photos that people are doing some, they're, they're trying to do some cool lighting techniques and it's not quite working. Um, so I'll, this is essentially a video light behind me, but I'm using it in a totally different way. So that's the, that's kind of the thought process when someone says, hey, can you review this? And I go, oh, can I get it to work the way I want it to work with the community that I have? And if it does, it does. It's it's pretty rare that um, it's pretty rare that I've, I actually accept. I can't think of anything actually that I've accepted that 
that I wouldn't use or someone in the community wouldn't find or find useful or a good solution to. I've certainly had plenty of people ask me, can you review this? And I get, no, that just doesn't fit mm-hmm. at all. Go away. Stop Did contacting me. you respond me. to them all? Yeah. Yep, I respond to everything. Oh, wow. It's, um, oh, jeez, yeah. I'll it, just delete them. It, oh, look, if it's um, if it's one that – if it's something that's clearly like a broad email, I'm sending out to every YouTuber subscription thing that I every, every YouTube. Hello, dear uh, YouTuber. Uh, uh, we love your content. Exactly. I don't. I don't reply to that. <laughs> if 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 they've used right. my name, um, I'll usually reply to it. Um, there was one. <laughs> I won't tell you the the name of the company because they're actually they are sending me something. Um, but they they contacted me and said, "We love what you're doing on your channel. No uh, your names. videos are great. Yada yada yada." And no, I'm not going to name it until until it comes. But well, they uh, yeah. When we see the product, we'll know. <laughs> we you may you may not, um, but they said, "Oh, mm. we, we'd like to send you one of these three things for you to review." And I looked through them, and, and the first two things were filters for DSLR. And I'm like, "Do you really watch what I do? <laughs> you don't watch what I do at all, you <laughs> nubduffs." It's like it's mobile <laughs> photography. I'm going to struggle to get this 62 millimeter le- uh, filter onto the front of my, you know, my iPhone lens. You freaking nuff nuff! It just doesn't. It's not what I do. It's like, have you really watched what I do? Yeah, but yeah. they uh, they're actually a, a, a reasonably reasonably well known brand. Um, but anyway, when, when, when they if they end up sending me what they said they're going to send me. Um, because it's one one of the most common questions I get asked is not about phones. It's not about where I am. It's not about light pollution or techniques. It's about tripods. It's the most common question I'm asked. What tripod's that? What are you using? Wow. What tripod's that? What are you using? Yeah. So when companies say, hey, can we send you this tripod? I'm like, bring it and bring we'll put it on there. And, <laughs> and if it works, it works. Um, and, and at some point, I'm going to have too many bloody tripods and Hopefully, someone from Australia wants it because when I send stuff overseas, when people say, "Yeah, I'll have that," it's cost me a bloody fortune in postage. But, <laughs> but yeah, I, oh, I yeah. answer pretty much everything, and um, uh, I, I generally only bring stuff on to here that um, the community will benefit from. No, absolutely, and I think with those videos, they are they're going to be growers over time, you know. So it might not pop oh, off yeah. now, but it'll slowly, slowly, yeah. hopefully start to earn its keep over over the year yeah. or years. So yeah. with your the, channel, what's – what's uh, sorry, were, were you going to say something? I was just going to say that the, the reviewing stuff is is good. It's only new to me um, that the, the things that – that the channel is clearly for low-level photography. But so if I can bring um, – something in that's going to help with that, um, it, it's that's what I'm going to do. That's just – the reviewing stuff is – I watched a guy. He's a YouTuber from Brisbane in Australia, and he he just does reviews. That's all he does. And and I was watching – I came across his channel because I was looking at a bit of kit that another company had said, hey, can we do this? And, and he actually reviewed it, and I went and had a look at it. And then I started following his channel, and, and he reviews so much stuff, like ridiculous amounts of stuff. And I don't mean like, you know, here's a here's an L bracket or, or here's a you know a lanyard to review. I mean, like he's getting like Insta three hundred and sixty cameras sent to him and stuff. And I, and I and I reached out to him and said, "Dude, how are you getting all this stuff? This is ridiculous the amount of stuff that you're getting." And he said, "They just contact him. He doesn't contact anyone." Um, and uh, he said, "I just do reviews on my channel." He said, "I started off reviewing things." Um, and people liked the way I reviewed it and people get in contact with him. So I started doing reviews on the channel for things that I thought would be beneficial. And I get so many people, so many different comp- companies contact me now saying, can you review this or that? It's, it's mind blowing. It's, it's only a small part of the channel, but if it helps two or three people out, well, I've done what I needed to do in that. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, so, what's uh, what's the end game for you? For you, is it a certain amount of revenue, <clears throat> certain amount of subscribers? What is it? It's it's definitely the well, the, the subscribers are purely a 
now now that I've pretty much hit all the 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 gates to unlock different things with on the platform, like the community tab and monetization tools and things like that. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can unlock as far as the numbers go. So from now on, yeah, it's just a it's purely vanity, you know. It's I've got this many subs, and it's the subs. The subs don't mean it's good to have them, but they don't really mean that much, really. No, it's, they don't. It's kind of it's kind of like dairy farming. Stay with me. Um, you, you go and talk to any dairy farmer around. And, uh, and and you go, hey, you go, and they go, yeah, yeah. And, and that, one of the first questions I'll ask is, how many cows are you milking? And I go, oh, I'm milking six hundred. Oh, I'm milking seven hundred. Oh, I'm milking four hundred. I'm milking six hundred. It doesn't matter. It, what it's what comes out of that that cow is what matters. What goes into that vat, how much milk you are producing is what matters. So you can there are there are farmers out there who are who are pumping you know, seven hundred cows through their dairy twice a day. But then you've got other farmers who are who have got like six, five or six hundred cows, and they're producing better quality milk than those with the bigger numbers. So the numbers mm. that, that equates back to to YouTube. I've never done that before, farming in YouTube, but but it's the same sort of thing. You can have as many subscribers as as you want, and and I look at some of the the. But the views is what matters. How many views and the retention, that interaction that you have, that's what matters. Um, you, you can have – and some of the, the YouTube educators that I listen to, they they go and um, they go and, and audit channels and help people grow their channel and stuff. And, and there's always stories of people who have got millions of subscribers making like $600 a month. And then you've got other people with – um, you know, 10,000 subscribers, but their business is made in such a way that YouTube just complements it, helps it grow, and they're making ten, fifteen thousand $15,000 a month. So the number of subs doesn't really matter. It's 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 the the money that's in the kitty at the end of the day is, is what matters. And if I can if I can do that with without just by being me, um, why not? So the, to answer your question, the, the, at the end of the day, my goal is to not work anywhere else anymore. So I was, uh, I'm working currently four days a week on a dairy farm. One of my neighbours is just like a kilometre or two down the road. You know, just driving tractors and just a, a farm hand, really. Um, and um, the, the, at the end of October, I cut that back to three days a week because the channel has just grown and grown and grown. Um, and over time, it, it'll go to two days a week, and then eventually it'll be nothing at all. It'll just be YouTubing. Um, so that's that's the goal, is to have a seven-day weekend. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, <laughs> I reckon it won't be long until you get there, absolutely, with, with the way that you're going. And my, from my side, that's... That's everything that I want to talk about. If you've got anything from your side before we wrap up and I let you get on with your day, then you can feel free. No, I'm I'm, I'm happy. I'll, I'll, I'll well, it is what it is. You're all good. We've been uh, we've been an hour now. I've we've literally been we? like one one hour to to the second, and as soon as we hit that, I'm not interested anymore. I'm gonna. <laughs> 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 when you when you watch the um, the live streams of us uh, of, on my channel, it's whatever whatever well, you, you've been on there. So you know, I, I start at like ten minutes beforehand just to have a chat and like not 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 not, not establish ground rules, but just kind of make people relaxed in the in the setting that we're in. And uh, mm -hmm. and and I usually tell people, uh, especially if they've never been on a camera before, I'll say. Look, we'll go through the formal stuff, and generally it just turns to shit after that. We just talk for the next however long. And and when you watch the yeah. live streams that I do, that's exactly how it is. We talk about the formal stuff. Who are you? Tell me your photos. What is camera you using? What sort of apps do you do? And yada 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 yada. And now we're just talking. <laughs> and people love it. It's just what I am. It's just talking. <laughs> yeah, and if if you ha if you get those 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 viewers to stick around with you while you talk. Those are, yeah. those are those 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 core bloody legends, as you call them. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah. 